All right. Hey, welcome, folks. No Spec Ops Mickey here. Listen, I did a sit rep this morning, and uh, when I completed it, something didn't feel right. So I started digging a little deeper, and something's still not sitting right with me. And I don't know what it is, but I have a bad feeling that something <laughs> is about to go on or go down. Somebody just is making a very large move on the chessboard, okay? And uh, I want to share that with you because this is, it's going to be a data point and I'll probably say this quite a bit. And at the end of it all, you probably will be glad that I said data point quite a bit. Um, but there's something I've discovered that is a little unnerving and I ran across it uh, prim primarily in my sit rep this morning when it caught my attention. And so I want to go back and I just want to look at the last two days. <clears throat> now, for those who have been following me for a while, you guys, I've probably mentioned to you in the past, on the Myers-Briggs scale, I'm an ENFJ, and I'm pretty much even across the board, which means my spidey senses are usually pretty spot on. I don't get blindsided a lot, okay? it's I can count on one hand the amount of times I've been blindsided, okay? Um, but I listen to my gut, and I will tell you there's some things going on right now in our country that concern me. and. Let me just show you the data here, okay? So this is Biggs Army Airfield. Now, as you know, I've been watching this for a while. We watched the immigration stuff stand up, the camps uh, that were there. We saw the Afghanis come in. We've seen, uh, you know, people coming across the border going in there. It's been busy, but I've never seen it this busy. And the thing that catches my eye with this, um, typically, uh, when we started, when the Ukraine thing kicked off, Biggs Army Airfield is a processing location. Everybody's been coming through there, and I can track the flights from there, and I can see them go across the drink, right? They either go to Asia or they go to Europe, right? But <clears throat> check this out. Now, these are flights coming inbound the last two days. Just take a look at the board. Everywhere from Hawaiian Airlines, everybody's getting in on it. Spa, Omni, United, uh, Allegiant, a lot of the charters that we typically see, but these aren't the big movers that we normally uh, get in and out. You get the 767s when they're going across the drink. You get the um, the 747s, right? And you'll see them go from here, and they'll hit the locations like Dover, Baltimore, Washington, Perot Field. And then from there, <clears throat> you'll see them, uh, or they'll go to Seattle, Tacoma, all right, and to Anchorage. Uh, and then they'll head across. So these are the inbound flights, and I've got, what, uh, maybe, maybe a dozen flights here, okay? Just since yesterday, a dozen flights. Like I said, I've been watching this a long time, and I haven't seen that. If you go down below that, uh, you can see the weekend traffic is also pretty, pretty, uh, pretty sporty. Uh, and that's just in the last five days, okay? Um, so say we've got a dozen ballpark. All right. Now let's look at where they're heading from there. Okay. Then this is where it started to get me thinking, getting my, my, I'm starting to, uh, things noodling around a bit. Okay. Notice that they're all going domestic. Not, and they're smaller. They're not the, the, uh, the international flights, except for that one right there. That Omni is probably a uh, international and it's probably headed over to <clears throat> Europe somewhere. Okay. So let's look at the locations. This one, headed to Los Angeles, Minneapolis, California, Ontario, San Diego. So that's those four, all four of those flights, or sorry, all three of those flights are headed to Southern California. So that would equal probably about 600 troops. Okay. Then we've got this one headed to Minneapolis, uh, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Kentucky. Uh, to that uh, Cleveland airport up there, CVG. Um, you got Knoxville, Tennessee, Tucson, Arizona. I think that's an RTB, return to base, but it could actually be bringing some troops in. Um, another CVG, uh, Cincinnati, Kentucky. Then you go here, Perot Field. Like I said, I think that's the only one out of these that is probably going over to Europe. Houston Bush, Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. <clears throat> so, that is what we're showing in terms of 
uh, now this is, look at the other ones before. Here's another one, 6-7. That's an Omni headed to Ontario, Los Angeles. That's from Saturday. Portland, those more than likely, at least, uh, well, actually, no. <laughs> I was going to say, these are small. These aren't 6-7. That camber flight, Baltimore, Washington, that's what you normally see, okay? And so that I'm expecting because that's a, that's a long haul. It's an ETOPS aircraft. It's made for, for heading across the drink. Uh, and then this one, Looks to be, that's Alexandria, that's going probably to taking some immigrants to the prison, uh, 72 hour holding facility. But these up here, that's not, that's different. This is, this is not the same that we typically see. All right. Now, if I go to scheduled departures, let me see if I got anything on the board, nothing there. And uh, let me go back to the main board. <clears throat> and you can see um, this United Airlines headed to Houston Bush uh, again, Brofield. So that, yeah, like I said, these are ones we were just looking at, okay? All right. So this is what I would consider an out-of-sequence or out-of-tempo or just out-of-the-normal activity. Now, remember, Biggs Army Airfield has two primary units that, that they, they engage with there. One is artillery guys, right, and all the support. There's an aviation unit tied to that. <clears throat> and then... um. There's also the 31 Bravo guys, military police. And the reason I know that is because I see them getting processed through here. They go to Guantanamo Bay all the time. And so, um, and they'll go from here to Houston to Guantanamo, right? Let me see here. Now, let's circle the wagons on this, which got me thinking, well, what's going to Guantanamo Bay? Check this out, all right? Now, again, let's just look at the board uh, as a whole. This is the last two weeks, right? Last Friday to this current Friday to this week. Okay. Now this stuff falls off. I don't have the ability to look beyond what is on the screen, but I will tell you the last time I went to Guantanamo Bay, I noticed that there were flights coming in by Eastern airlines from joint base Andrews. That's DC Maryland. Okay. So I've been watching it and it's coming in Saturday, right? This, this is one you go on up the board here a little bit uh, for the next joint base Andrews. Here's one again, Saturday, and then there's another one coming in today, right? So we're starting to see this uptick of aircraft coming in from Joint Base Andrews, all right? Now, this right here, I'm pretty confident this is going to be um, military police troops coming in. They're just doing a rotation they do every three months, or, <clears throat> uh, or they're building up. They're adding to what they currently have, okay? But it looks like this is a fresh rotation uh, we've just seen some of the others come through in the last couple of weeks. And so I, I'm, you know, that's in line. It's nothing that would cause me to go, oh, that's, that's a, that's the smoking gun. Right. But, um, we do have this Sam flight. This one actually originated, even though it came out of Belize, it's a, a special air mission flight. It's one of your blue and whites. It originated in, um, joint base Andrews. And uh, by the way, when it left here, it went back to Belize. Than Joint Base Andrews. So, um, again, we've got an uptick. This, to me, when I see this stuff coming in on a regular tempo, would indicate there's a trial about to take place, and this is why people are coming in, okay? Now, let's go over to the board, and let's look at, uh, let me back up for November, <clears throat> and we're going to look at November and October. And I just want to show you the trend, because given the flights that are coming in, given the activity that's going on, you would think, We've got some hot trials going, but look at this. The board is continuing to be canceled. If I go back like six months, it's been canceled, canceled, canceled. We've got one week next week where it looks like there is a potential for emotions. I, my guess is this will get canceled too. Um, but that would indicate there's something else going on there or something about to go on there. Okay. So again, we get into November and I want to show you how this changes. Now, notice on this one, we have a lot of canceled. But when you get into November, notice how the board opens up and there's, there's a lot of blank space besides canceled. You got these two right here. This is election day. And then you've got canceled, canceled, all wide open, all wide open. And then this one down here that's a hearing that'll probably get canceled. So I guess in summary, what I'm saying is, I'm seeing an uptick in potential domestic troops being deployed. 
which would indicate that they uh, they think maybe things could get a little uh, unrestful. And um, we've got a series of flights that are all coming in from um, from D.C., which would indicate we've got maybe a big trial on the horizon. So, again, this is all data points, but uh, I wanted to share it with you now. We're going to watch Friday sit rep, Monday sit rep. What I'm looking for um, would be uh, an uptick somewhere overseas. I don't think we're going to see it, honestly. Um, with these flights that are departing, uh, we want to see something that matched this activity across the drink. I don't care if it's Asia or Europe. Um, but this is all domestic, and this is concerning to me because uh, that could indicate that, that we're about to be in a very interesting period in this country. So, like I said, I don't know what's going on, but my spidey senses are telling me something ain't right. Okay. Somebody has just made a very large chess move on the board, and um, I think we all better buckle up because <laughs> this is, uh, is going to get interesting. So, all right, listen. Continue to watch, like I said, Friday and Monday. Uh, we're going to see what happens with these flights. If we see this continue, um, uh, you're definitely going to have to keep that powder dry and stay frosty. All right, listen, that's going to be it. You guys, we'll talk soon. God bless. Monkey out.